to learn how to create amazing game environments and assets, 3D Tutor now has a massive library of courses. Whether you're interested in medieval or stylization, sci-fi or low poly, kitbash to oriental fantasy, you can find it all in one place at 3D Tutor. Find me across multiple platforms or over on Patreon, where you'll not only be able to support my work, but have access to hundreds of hours of tutorials. If this sounds too good to be true, then check out the links down below. And now, let's get started with the video. Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with another tutorial. And this time, we're going to be looking at how to perfectly bend meshes or objects within your scene. And this will lead on to another tutorial which I'm going to hopefully create in the next couple of days where we're going to focus on oriental styled roofs with their kind of ornate ends that flow round and then the roof tiles which are very very different from uh, European uh, roof tiles of course. So please watch and maybe you're going to learn something and then stay tuned to the next tutorial where we'll be looking at as I say oriental styled roofs. So enough of all that let's get started with how to perfectly bend meshes and objects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring in a cube. So I'm going to press Shift A to bring up my primitives menu, mesh, come across and go to cube. I'm going to shrink it down then with the S button and then I'm going to bring it out on the X. So I'm going to press S and X, bring it out like so. And then what I'm going to do is I need some edge loops on here because I'll show you the reason why. First of all, if I come over now and bring in the modifier that we're going to use, so add modifier, come down and you'll see one that says simple deform. Bring that in. Put it on bend because that's the one that we want to use. You can mess around with these twist, taper and stretch, but we're going to use bend just for this actual tutorial. So I'll put that on and you'll see that we've got a bend right here at the moment. Now, we need to actually bend it in a certain way so that actually looks like something we need to use. So although this is nice and all that, we don't really want that. What first though we need to do is we always need to press Control A and reset all of the transforms. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually bring in some edge loops. Now, the reason is Blender can't actually bend this because it's one straight piece of mesh. So if I press Control R and I scroll the mouse wheel up, something like six or seven edge loops, then press left click and you'll notice that we can move them left and right. Just click right click and that'll drop them right in the center. The next thing then you wanna do is press A and that's gonna basically grab all of these actual um, edge loops and everything there. Basically it's gonna grab everything. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Tab, come over and let's put it on Y. And you'll notice at the moment, this is how it looks and that's not what we want. So let's try Z and there we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now all we need to do is press RX and 90. And now you can see that we can actually bend this in a really, really nice way, really easily. Now, a few things to know. Um, if we move the orientation, so let's say we grab the end of here. So I'll press tab to go into edit mode, grab this face, shift S, cursor to selected, tab, right click, set origin to 3D cursor, you'll now notice that it bends up this way. So it's very important where you actually want to put your orientation because that will then be where the actual bend from. So you can actually see it's really nice to make um, kind of arches and things like that. So you can see exactly how this is gonna be useful. Now let's uh, create something else and I'll show you um, something else that you can actually do with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna delete this out of the way and then I'm gonna press Shift S cursor to world origin and now let's bring in another cube so shift a let's bring in a cube press the s button to shrink it down s and x and we're going to pull it out like so and what i kind of want to do is just create a small bridge just so i can show you exactly what you can do so shift d to duplicate shift space bar to bring in my move tool and now i can just drag that over and i've got the starting pieces of a very simple bridge now what i want to do is i want to grab both of these press ctrl j like so and now we've actually joined those together, we can press right click, set origin to geometry, and that then is going to put his um, orientation right in the center, exactly where we want it. Now let's press shift S, cursor to selected, and now we've also got our cursor in there, which means that when we now bring in another cube, so shift A, mesh, cube, it's going to appear right where we want it. Now let's bring this out a little bit just so it's touching the edges of there, shrink it down with the Z, so S and Z bring it down, just so it fits in there now and then press S and X and bring it in now so we've got an actual panel. And now let's just move it over to here. As I say, we're just gonna create a simple bridge here. Next of all, we wanna do is add in another modifier and we're just gonna add in an array just so you can see exactly what this does. Now, at the moment, you can see it's on the X and it's one, so it means it's going that way. This is the X because this is red, so let's pull it the other way like so, bearing in mind that we need a little tiny gap. So I always put a minus 1.1, something like that, and then just, put up 
the number of counts. Something like that looks absolutely fine. And now what we need to do is before we actually bring in our simple default, let's also add in um, some actual edge loops onto here so we get that nice bend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to press Control R, I'm going to put in two, so left click, right click, and then Control R, and let's put in something like four, left click, right click, and now what that means is that when I apply this array, these will all have the same amount of edge loops in. So let's come in, press Control A to actually apply this modifier like so, press the tab button, and there you go. There, now they've all added those edge loops in, and now we can come in and grab each one of these. Let me just grab these. So tab, grab each of these, shift space bar, bring in my move, and move it just to the edge like so. Finally now, let's bring in some edge loops on these parts as well, or so it won't bend. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna press Control R, and let's add in something like um, six. You can actually press Control R, six on the number pad, press the enter button, right click, and that'll drop them right in the center. And then of course do it on this one. So Control R, six, enter, right click, drop them in place. Okay, so now we've got all of our edge loops added. All we need to do now is just join all this together. So I'm going to grab these, Shift select these, press Control J, and there we go, they're all added together now. And now let's see if we can actually bend it. First of all though, we've got our orientation over here. We don't really want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Control A to reset all my transforms before I use my modifier so it won't work correctly. So all transforms, right click, set origin to geometry. That puts it then right in the center. All right, so let's add a modifier. So we're gonna come in, down to simple deform, put it on bend, and you're going to end up with something like this. Let's put it on Y or Z. So you can put it on Z and there you go. You can see it actually bends that way. So what I tend to do now is I'll bend it this way. So let's bend it a little bit more like so. And then I'm going to actually apply the modifier. So Control A. And now what I want to do is I actually want to bend it the other way. Now this is the tricky part of it. So let's come in, add a modifier, simple deform, bend. And I want to bend it this other way. So instead of it bending this way now, I want to bend it the other way. So how do we do that? If we press tab, press A to grab everything, we have to be in edit mode to do this, and then press R and X and 90, bend it round, and then press tab to go into object road mode, and now bend it back, so R, X, minus 90, and now you'll see that we've actually got the bend the other way. So now we can bend it both ways, so you can have a bridge which bends round this way and bends round this way, and that is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you actually learned something. And it did take me a long time to actually figure this out on my own when I was trying to do this. I couldn't figure out how to get the bend done properly. So I'm just uh, giving you a heads up and just showing you how that works. Okay, everyone, so happy modeling, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.